One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a really nice little 1981 One Owner Honda Civic station wagon. Uh, the car is in great shape. It's got clean lines, a few dings and dents and stuff. And I'll show you up close um, here in a second. But man, just a well maintained, good running little Honda Civic wagon. You don't see them like this as clean. This is original paint. It's just been well maintained, well taken care of. Um, I'm going to do the once around here, show you everything. Then I'll kind of go up close and show you the little minor flaws and scuffs and all that stuff. Um, you know, and on the original paint, I don't know if it is. I'm not 100% on that. I was thinking a different car, and we'll get up close and look at this one. I don't remember. Um, so, oneownercarguy.com, and it's in great shape. I'm going to go underneath and show you the underneath parts first, as I always do. I like to show that. Now, this piece is rare to still be having on here, and there's a little clip there that it wasn't in. It's got a little dent right there on that. That's a rare piece to still have. Motor pan, great condition. Everything under here, just clean as can be. Tranny looks great. It is just clean as can be. And I'm sure you got a damp gasket and gonna catch a drip here or there sometime. But you leave it set in it, don't pour out a whole bunch of oil all over. Uh, four pans are clean as can be. California car. Um, and I'm thinking it's been painted once. Original undercoating on everything, not all rusted out. Um, just clean as can be factory little uh, mud flaps still on it. Wheel wells are in great shape. These tires are got lots of tread. Uh, a little dry around the edge right there. I don't like them for a cross country trip or something. Locking tank factory. And yeah, I believe it's been had a good paint job put on it once, but a while ago. And that's kind of your underneath. Ooh, I gotta show you from the back. This piece is still here, by the way, that filler piece. Rare to have. It's still got the spare on it. And all these rods and all that good stuff. It's clean! And it's all here. It's nice. And if you are looking for one to redo, this is it. Um, I'm not going to tell you you're going to hop in this thing and never have a problem. No, man. First year, you probably break a hose or a belt or a pump or a pulley or a stinking starter. Who knows? Something. Um, but <laughs> this guy maintained it. And you can tell there ain't oral. Oral? What's oral? Oil all strewn up under it or nothing. It's in great shape. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start showing you the walk around. It's not all dinged up and dented up. However, there's a dent in the side I'll show you. Um, the roof is nice. However, there's some spots that are a little lighter from fading. In fact, you can tell he definitely maintained the paint over the years and buffed through it in a couple spots just over time. Um, very good condition. Not all dinged up. There's that main dent I'm telling you about. And it kind of has creased that door a little bit. Split right there, scratch right there. Kind of gives you the look of it, but you can see it creased that door just a teeny bit and then better amount on this door. A little ding there, ding there. Front fender straight. Oh man, mud flaps. It's got two in the front, don't have the back ones. A uh, couple little spots here where the paint's coming up, and that's what makes me believe that it's been repainted. Um, and like around these little gills. Straight, body lines are straight. Chrome's all here and everything, but that clip is a little messed and it should be clicked in a little more. So I don't know how you would redo that. Either get a new one or tie that clip back. A couple dings and chips around that piece. Scratch right there. And yes, these are some insignificant little things on the kind of car I'm showing. Especially if you're going to repaint it, a little chipped up around there. But I like to be up front and complete. Plastic's all in good shape there. And wheels look great. Tires are great, but like I say, they're a little dry. I don't like them. I'd put a brand new set. Walmart. You know you can get tires for one of these at Walmart for like 185 to 225 for um, either BFGs or. Um, the other brand, Goodyear. It's Goodyear. I think it's Goodyear. Um, these are a little dried and they get shrunken up over time. Um, good shape though. 
little bit of chipping there over on the paint, clear coat. Kind of water spots on it, just kind of over time. Um, it's a great car, it's very clean. Showed you all this. And not only that, let's go look at the, see this? With the factory stuff here, the rock guard. And look at all your fender, it's all real good metal. And you got that on there. That's, I don't know, maybe they just painted the top, which is what I was thinking, and not the bottom. I don't know. But that's the original stuff there. No, they painted the bottom for sure. There's a little right there. Um, it's in good shape. I'm going to look at that other side for you and just show you these fenders. I mean, <laughs> rock ship guard. So clean. You're going to be hard pressed to find a Honda this clean. These things all rust out, they get rust in them, and this one is not. Plain and simple. Well, that's your once around. That's your twice around. It's time to show you the interior on this one before it gets much brighter. I'm moving my lot. I've got all kinds of cars. All kinds of cars. Check out my website, oneownercarguy.com and call me anytime, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Make sure and subscribe, like, comment, tell me something. Well, now for just about my favorite part of any of these, the test drive. And I'll tell you, you check my channel, I just uploaded a Peterbilt, and I'm uploading a big old commercial fishing vessel, and just all kinds of stuff. If it moves, I'll sell it. If, if, if it's got wheels or a, well, I'm not gonna say that one here. I can drive it. You gotta clean it up, you know? Who's driving this? McGilla Gorilla? The seat was all the way back. And you know, it sure could have just sat for a while, but I would think it was used all that time. We got a nice radio. I didn't want to play it too much. Now, it's got AC, and I'm gonna tell you that it blows cool. Does it blow ice cold? I don't think it's ice cold. I really, really don't. But I know it's cool. And everything's all good in here. Let's get out on the road, man. This thing drives like a go-kart. It's so, so easy to drive. Hi, Breeder. Beaglespocket.com. They are a faithful little hound. And they will absolutely want to go with you everywhere. I don't know why when I pull out, I always catch this light yellow. It's just the way it goes, it seems. OneOwnerCarGuy.com um, It's a good runner. I'm sure over time, like I say, you'll replace something. A belt, a hose, a fuel pump, a, a starter, who knows? I don't know what leader these are. Pulls the car along fine. They do drive, just easy to drive. Brakes work good, and yeah, they give them a horn. That's why the Lord made horns. Seriously, you're just gonna pull into this guy's place. Hey, we'll go in there and turn around or something. Okay, cameras are gone. Yes, sir, if you've heard me talk about them, they used to take your picture and give you a ticket this light. Not no more. When I hear some creaking in the back there, I think at some point you're gonna to wanna to put shocks on it. Um, I could now, but it's a nice little driving car. Now, you know, nice little driving car. Some people are used to a brand spanking new. You see that red car there? Like a nice brand new, or a little, ver oh man, we're talking brand spanking new. This is not a brand spanking new car. This is a cheaper, older car. This will also hold its value. You'll lose in so many of these cars with that car, it's pitiful. The money just kind of goes away with the new car. Now uh, this is a cheap, older car, and I guess my point about this whole thing here is that black car there is gonna drive a little bit different than this car here, for sure. Um, but this car has that feel. It's just classic, and it's nice, and it's fun to drive. Um, 
However, it's an older car. It's not a brand new car. Wow, we got some traffic out here. I'm not messing around, and this guy's just got me blocked off from making a right turn here. What a dick. Well, I guess we're stopped pretty much everywhere. Uh, I can show you this while I'm sitting here. They of course work. Um, he's got that pulled down. And I actually think you can flip that out differently and put that all the way down. Um, I'm not too sure about how all that works, but I know that the light is green and we are going. Um, if there's any questions about this car, my name is Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. Check my website, oneownercarguy.com. All right, I'm gonna show you the interior and under the hood and all that good stuff. Um, this is a clean car. The seats took a little bit of sun damage and such over the years. First off, the door panels. They're in good shape and got a couple little tears there. I can have that fixed if you want. The sun damage was that and the seats. This is shrunken up just a little. It's still functional and still mounted tightly, man. A uh, little loose along the bottom. Don't want anybody to be crazy on the buzzer there. Key is wore down. Need to make a copy before this one breaks. 100%. Disclosure. Um, the kick panel's in great shape. Carpet's in great shape. Pedals, hardly anywhere. Um, 175 or 75. From underneath, I really believe 75,000 miles on this car. And I'll tell you what, on this, it's original miles. Uh, 57 and 02, I really believe that it's original miles just from the amount that he drove it. Uh, no score, man. It's got a clean auto check, special use, vehicle event and use. What does that mean? Information. It's all good, it all checks out. Oh, emissions. It um, failed emissions last time here in 12. It passed in 10, failed in 12. It's got a little valve or something it needs. Um, it's passed its whole life up till now. Um, great shape. A little bit of fading on that. No, you know what? I don't know. Carpet's in good shape. Um... I wonder, I should pull these seats down and show you that way too, and I will. Um, you know, it's not awful under here, but it's pretty bad. Um, it had a nice look, but they're tore up in there. So I bought these covers and put over it, and I'll tell you, if you want um, the seats done, I can have the seats done in this for like five, six hundred bucks, and they'll look just amazing. Um, in the back here, it's in great shape, this carpet, my guy can fix it cheap, and I'm talking really cheap. I mean, I think he'd do it, and he stitches the stuff around the edges too, but he could do this carpet, and the whole interior, including the carpet up front and everything, if you put 750 into it to have all new, I'd be amazed. Um, it's in great shape, look at that. Factory jack and the bar and everything. Cool stuff. Great shape, man. All this is in good shape, which that piece is usually pretty rotten. And this one's in good shape and not all dry at the top. And it's in there tight. I'm gonna get a little help here in a second. Lay these seats down. Make sure I've been showing you all the panels too. And I'm gonna go over here while I'm thinking out loud and pop the hood as I show you this door panel. A little bit of that. In fact, I'll take that piece off for you to show you. Chrome coming off there. Chrome? It ain't chrome. It's fake ohm. Fake ohm. <coughs> Horn is nice and loud. Underneath the hood is clean as can be. Um, I totally believe the miles on this car. 
I'm gonna go around and start on the other side again to where I don't lose track of where I was for you. Um, hey Trent, help me with this back seat real quick. He's gonna pop that back seat down for me. If I show the front and the carpet, you know, it's a little thin right there and it's really easy to put down. He put it down right away, but he knew right where everything was. Okay, see it all in the car. You helping Justin now? He needs a car. Um, I showed you the auto check. In fact, I'm gonna put it in the glove box. And I wanna show you this, but I'll leave this in here for you. Um, got the original manual. Now the manual is falling out of the spine. In fact, a couple of them are undone there. But actually, I'm gonna say that he went over on miles according to the dates here and it has rolled. I do believe that. But there's your upkeep and stuff. Um, and that'll show you that. And I had the windshield guy coming up to me here. It's hard to do these videos and have a running lot. So he did a lot of maintenance. That is too cool, man. Stamped by his import car place. I'll put that all back in here. Take a picture of that one, man. That's cool stuff. It really is. I like seeing these one owner cars where the people took care of it. I mean, it's just so nice to see something that somebody took care of like this. And I'm gonna have to clip this off here in a sec and finish up. Um, under the hood is just nice as can be. Um, did you get her in there, man? Did you get a hold of her? Okay. And look at, he's had all this stuff maintenance. He's got a, you can tell there's been a lot of maintenance. A lot of maintenance. All the plastic things, still got all the tag. I mean, it's, this is just amazing. It's amazing how, now this piece is a little weathered. Might get a new air, air duct thing there. <laughs> they just hit the brakes there hard. Well, that's under the hood. It sure is clean. Look how clean this is. These things are usually all tarnished and messed up. Clean as can be. So, that's under the hood. Can't think of anything else to show you on this thing. My name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. I'm gonna go for a test drive now, and we'll show you how that all works, and go from there. I'm gonna talk to this glass guy, at oneownercarguy.com. Call me up, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you.